Welcome to the pecan tutorial on how you add and delete genes. So when we were looking at the fam maps, we ran across an interesting situation here. Gene 44, we're comparing Mags B to Xerces. It looks like there may be a gene missing. So what we will do is go look at this region and see if there's any coding capacity in here to see if there's a possible gene. So we do that by looking at gene mark. So we need to find out where to look in gene mark. 31, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's about 31, 5 to 7, that region in here is where we need to look. So let's just jump over to gene mark and we're about 31, okay, there's six, so five, six, seven. This region right here and we find in this reading frame two that uh, there is indeed an open reading frame there and it has coding capacity. Wow, great. Let's go and see if we can find the stop. What we need in order to put a new gene in is the location of the stop site. So in order to get to the stop site easily, we can simply just go into genes, look uh, at number 45, and then when we go into the sequence, it will automatically jump to that section. So, um, Let's go and find gene 45. So we come back here to our summary. We've logged in. We go look at the genes. And we scroll down to gene 45. And now we go and we want to just put this in another um, <coughs> tab. So let's right click and open this in a new tab so we can easily jump back and forth and now we're looking at the sequence here's the nucleotide sequence here's the protein sequence if we scroll down we can see very similar to this over here instead of just seeing reading frame one two three etc now we can see <laughs> the nucleotide sequence with the amino acids that correspond to each of the three reading frames. So, for example, here we have um, reading frame, top reading frame, and we have ATG here, okay? And for the next one would be um, ACG for the second base, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If we come over and we look at... Um, this A here corresponds to GCT in this second reading frame. The C then, well, let me just look at this. Okay, so if we start here, uh, GCG is this A. And then we go back one base. TGC corresponds to the C and this GTG corresponds to the V. So those are the three reading frames from this top forward reading frame. Here's the bottom strand. This is the reverse strand. It reads right to left. And so if we were to look at this ATG, that corresponds to a start site. It's in green. And yes, we have a methionine there. Okay, and so this TGC would be the cytosine, and this GCG, or GCC would correspond to this um, alanine here. So there's reading frames. In the bottom reading frame, you read right to left. In the top reading frame, you read left to right. Okay, so that's just showing you and reminding you what these reading frames are. Um, it's the same as what I explained here for the, the complementary reverse and the direct 
which is the forward reading frames. Okay, so we find gene 45 here, and we can drag this down, um, is the start site for this. We are looking for stop sites around this region, and then which reading frame it would correspond to. Uh, we do find a stop site right here next to the, the start site here. And so this may be the reading frame that we're interested in. Let's trace it back and see if this come, brings us out close to the, the next gene. So we'll just go left, and what we're looking for is to see if this reading frame continues without a stop site. And it's looking pretty good. And now we've got a, a start there. Uh, and how close is that to the... Actually, it continues along here. We haven't run into any stop sites yet. Oh, wow. Now we're to the next gene without even a stop site in this lower third reading frame. So this looks like the one we want to look at. In fact, where is the next stop site? Wow, it's way back here. It's way back here. Okay, so let's go to the next gene. And then previous gene. Here we are. This is where we were at. The 31700. So we want to know where this stop site is. So you notice if I put my cursor over the bases here, the mouse position changes. This is not really very accurate because we're going to have 42. We move it just a little bit. And it's 43, but still pointing at the C. So what we want is this stop site here that ends at that T right there. So what we'll do is drag this over until that T is on this left edge. We now know that that position is 31, 738. So we write that down, 31, 738. And now let's go set up a gene, create a new gene. We come back to here, we can add a gene. And in the add gene, Uh, we want to put the stop site here, and we'll put 30, 37, 37, nope, 31, <laughs> I've already got it messed up, 31, 738, 738, okay, and then we come down, add gene, bingo, ah, it says it's not a stop code on, did I get that wrong? Let's go look again, make sure. And that's why we use different tabs here, so we can jump back and forth. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's not this T here. It's, um, well, let's see, wait a minute. Oh, it's this one right here. I was looking at the wrong one. This is a stop site in the, in the reverse. Okay, we want to look at this stop site right here. So all we want to do is drag the A. Oh, this is a good example of what happens when it doesn't work. We want to drag that A, the UGA, which is a stop site. Drag the A back, and now it's 31741. Okay, 41. Okay, let's go back in. Here and add the gene, and we want to use 741. So 741, add gene, bingo, and now it will add the gene. And we see it when we drop down here, we see it's in there. Okay, 37, um, 41 is the stop. 
So that's how you add a gene. Now, if you decide not to add a gene, if you've added a gene and want to get rid of it, you can delete this gene. If you select any other gene here, uh, for example, this one, and you decide that you don't want to use it, you see there's no delete option. <coughs> um, that's because we don't want to delete genes that have been called. What we will do then instead is uncheck this gene here, the in gene include, and then when we save that, we see that this is not included anymore in the annotations. Okay, so now we see this gene is not included anymore. If we decide that uh, really should be in there, which it should, <laughs> we can come back here at any point. Uh, we can go somewhere else. We can come back to this not included gene here, and we can check mark it and save it, and that will then include it once again. Okay, so that's how you. Um, add and delete genes. Stay tuned. Our next um, training segment will show you um, how you can find the direct, um, correct start for a coding gene. And we'll look at the CFAGES annotation guide to begin with. Okay, stay tuned for the next annotation. Thank you. Bye.